Having learned about the interaction of light with matter, let's now summarize the Einstein coefficients which are the proportionality constants introduced in those discussions. So first one was the probability that an absorption transition occur is given by P12 is equal to B12 into rho of nu. Here B12 is the Einstein coefficient for induced or stimulated absorption. This is a constant characteristic of the atom and represents the properties of the energy states E1 and E2. Second one was about the spontaneous transition and the probability that a spontaneous transition occur is given by P21 is equal to A21. A21 is known as the Einstein coefficient for spontaneous emission and this is a constant characteristic of the atom and is also known as the radiative constant having the unit 1 by second. So 1 by A21 is also or gives the lifetime of the upper state against spontaneous decay to the lower state. The probability that a stimulated transition occur is given by P21 is equal to B21 rho of nu. B21 is the Einstein coefficient for stimulated emission and is constant characteristic of the properties of energy states between E1 and E2. It follows that spontaneous transition is not possible from lower energy level E1 to upper energy level E2. So the probability of spontaneous transition from E1 to E2 is always zero. So here are some general comments on Einstein coefficients. The coefficients indicated by B are always related to induced transitions that is transitions induced by external photons. So B12 will represent the transition induced by a photon from lower energy level E1 to a higher energy level E2 and B21 will denote the transition induced by a photon from higher energy level E2 to the lower energy level E1. The second coefficient is indicated by A and is related to the spontaneous transitions that is transitions which occur on its own without the assistance of an external agent and uh, since trans spontaneous transitions cannot take place from E1 to E2 uh, that is from the lower energy level to the higher energy state E2 we do not have a coefficient A12 so A12 is always 0. So these are the summarization for Einstein coefficients and now our task is to obtain the relations between these transitions. Thank you.